Hey everybody, welcome to the Adventures of the Oklahoma Grump Man. Please contact me on Facebook, Instagram, or email. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to send me fan mail, the information is in the video above. Hey everybody, welcome to the Adventures of the Oklahoma Grump Man. Today I'm setting up here uh, at Walmart. I'm going to do a video comparing prices and showing you the prices here in Woodward, Oklahoma and how much inflation is 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 real uh, and how it's affecting our everyday lives. Uh, I just hope you guys are having a blessed day and I want to bring this video to you guys and we're also going to go to the, the fair today and get you some video from there. I'm not expecting much there because our county fair is not very big, but uh, yeah, I'm going to do uh, Walmart here first and just show you the prices and uh, I've noticed the last couple weeks or month that I've been coming here how the uh, shelves have started to dwindle down a little bit on certain items uh, and I, I welcome your comments and let me know what prices are doing in your area this is my local Walmart here in Woodward Oklahoma and I'm gonna also go to United it's it's our other grocery store here in town and I'm gonna compare some prices to see even the price difference between stores but mainly I want to I want to show you how inflation is affecting our daily lives and and uh, how things and this is only my theory how things are changing with the supply chain again it's it's almost like we're going back into the COVID uh, time again uh, I, I don't know if they do this on purpose when it comes close to election time or you know <laughs> there's just so many theories out there that we uh, we don't know about and is it real or is it not real uh, I have my own thoughts uh, but yeah I just wanted to bring you this video today I'm gonna go inside there and I'm gonna I have to be kind of discreet on I don't want to video any people that are shopping or anything but I'll do the best that I can to show you the prices of things and uh, I got to pick up a few things for the farmers market to do some baking with and I've even noticed the the materials that I buy uh, from last year to this year have Oh, some of it's doubled in price. So anyway, I'm going to go get that done and we'll talk to you later. God bless. Hey everybody, this is the price of Granny Smith apples. Two eighteen a pound on this side and two twenty eight on this side. So I don't know which one's right, but last year I was buying these for like a dollar eighty a pound. And uh, uh, delicious apples here are two eighty-seven a pound. It's crazy. Uh, I don't really know much about these prices, but they seem kind of expensive to me. Uh, Sixteen dollars for a tray of enchiladas from Stouffer's. Sixteen fifty, actually. So. A thing of macaroni and cheese, family size, seven dollars and fourteen cents. Uh, lemons are fifty-eight cents a piece. They used to be like eighteen cents, and they look horrible. They're mostly dried up. Uh, bell peppers are 77 cents each.
the Roma tomatoes are are uh, actually have come down in price. They're 75 cents. They were 98 cents. But tomatoes are plentiful right now. Cucumbers are 72 cents each. It's crazy. I'm not charging enough at the farmer's market evidently for mine because I usually get like two of them for a dollar so I might have to do some changing on that. Ten pounds of russet potatoes. Five ninety-seven. Used to be able to get them for two fifty. Jalapeno peppers are a dollar forty-four a pound. Produce is just kind of crazy right now, I guess. Cantaloupes are this brand are three twenty eight a piece. This ones are two sixty eight a piece. Watermelons are three eighty seven for the small ones. Are. I think they're like 59 cents a pound. It used to be 29 cents a pound. Uh, habaneros are $3.68 for a bag of uh, four ounce bag of them. So about a dollar an ounce. These bell peppers are $1.48. Each. It's crazy. A head of lettuce right now is a dollar and eighty-eight cents. And used to get them for sixty-nine cents. Celery is a dollar eighty-seven. Used to get that for ninety-nine cents. So yeah, prices have really doubled in the last two years uh, for the most part they don't have acorn squash here so I can't compare the prices on those but, uh, asparagus and it looks tiny 347 a bundle it's kind of, kind of crazy I just want to get you guys a little uh, perspective on cost. Cabbages are 82 cents each. And I don't eat cabbage. So. Sweet corn is 50 cents an ear. And they don't look too bad right now. But yeah, 50 cents each used to get like a dozen for a buck and a half. It's just kind of crazy. Oh, hatch chilies, I'm not sure what they are. Four seventy four a bag. And now we'll get over to the expensive stuff here. Uh, salmon is twelve ninety eight a pound. Crab leg is fourteen dollars a pound. Beef is I got it. 
this one's on clearance for twelve dollars and twenty eight cents for uh, two and a quarter pounds so that's over four dollars a pound Angus ground beef is twelve dollars for two and a quarter pounds The extra lean is fifteen dollars for two and a quarter pounds. Thirty-four dollars for a ten pound tube of it. Used to be able to get that for like fifteen bucks. New York, New York strip steaks, a pound and three quarters, twenty-six dollars, fourteen dollars and ninety-seven cents a pound. Wagyu beef, New York strip, not even one pound, twenty-two dollars and thirty-nine cents, twenty-six dollars a pound. Uh, the chuck roast. Seven dollars a pound for chuck roast. Just a cheap old pot roast on clearance is thirteen dollars and fifty-eight cents. It would have been seventeen dollars and uh, ninety-eight cents. Brisket. This is this is what I don't understand. Uh, Twenty-eight dollars for a piece of brisket. It's not even a full brisket. It's seven dollars and eighty-six cents a pound. Chuck rolls to seventeen bucks. Home minute steak. Eight dollars and twenty cents a pound, or for a for one pound, two ounces. Six dollars a pound. Uh, pork is still kind of reasonable. Uh, the baby back ribs here are only three dollars a pound. You used to be able to get them for like a dollar sixty. Butt roast is a dollar eighty-eight a pound. We used to be able to get that for sixty-nine cents. So yeah, this is just some of our government inflation that we're paying for. Uh, taxes might not have got raised, but everything else did. So, but I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, Bratwurst, four dollars and ninety-eight cents for five bratwurst. It's kind of crazy. Italian sausage. We used to buy this for like two dollars. Now it's three fifty-seven. This is what I think is ridiculous. Twelve dollars and sixty-seven cents for chicken wings. Chicken wings used to be the cheapest thing. This is one was nine dollars and fifty-six cents, five dollars and seventy-six cents a pound for chicken wings. It's it's crazy. I can buy chicken breast, almost skinless chicken breast, cheaper than I can buy chicken wings. It's it's crazy. This is the hot dogs and that. It's still kind of affordable. Uh, the smoked sausage and stuff like that. But it's even more expensive than it used to be. We used to be able to get the Bar S Franks for like 99 cents and now they're $1.12. Ham is absolutely ridiculous. $17.89 for a, 
a three pound ham, $5.47 a pound. Now you can buy these little ham steaks, Bob Evans brand, you get two pounds for $11. Here's a, a whole ham. Nine and a half pounds, a dollar ninety-eight a pound. That's a little better, but you're paying for a lot more bone. The other one is boneless, I guess. But, uh, The Fricks hams are uh, two forty a pound, and these uh, spiral cut hams are two eighty seven a pound. But yeah, I'm just getting you some of the prices here on some of the stuff. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. Cheese is one of the things that uh, I've noticed the stockpile is not as good as it used to be. Uh, they finally got some of the store brand great value sliced cheese in again, but that was, they didn't have any for about three weeks. And uh, a lot of the shredded cheeses are uh, empty and not a lot of. Uh, supply on hand. Eggs are the one thing that has come down in price. Uh, just a few months ago we were paying $25 for five dozen eggs and now they're at $7.47 so yeah egg prices are the one thing that has decreased in, in cost. Butter is $3.68 a pound. Uh, Used to be used to get it for two fifty, and the land lakes is really expensive. It's, it's a dollar higher, and of course we had to take the median off there. But uh, yeah, butter is a little more expensive. Blue bonnet you used to be able to get for 79 cents, and now it's a dollar 43. Uh, orange juice is very expensive, uh, eight dollars a gallon. Uh, we'll go over here to the the bacon. Bacon is very expensive. We used to get this for like seven dollars and now it's nine dollars. Uh, I don't usually buy much bacon. I prefer sausage over bacon. But, uh, Cottage cheese is dwindling. It seems like the dairy products are are the the thing that are hurting the most in the supply, and I'm not sure what the deal is with that. This Milo's iced tea used to be two dollars and twenty-seven cents a gallon. Now it's three thirty-eight. I see milk has come down. Uh, 317, it was 338, so that's come down a little bit. Uh, we had have been having a hard time getting heavy whipping cream and in that, but they got a they got a little supply now, but it's very expensive. It's five dollars a quart. And that's actually come down a little bit because it was for a while there, it was up to like $11 a quart. So. 
bread here is a dollar thirty-two now. It used to be ninety-nine cents. Uh, for the store brands, some of these other brands are three and four dollars a loaf, and I, I refuse to pay that for bread. Which, yeah. Just uh, honey, this is really crazy. Uh, Sixteen dollars. Uh, Seven dollars for a small little bottle. Four dollars for that little bitty clover honey. And I understand that it, it's a lot of work to get it, but. I don't know, it's, it's very expensive. Especially when I use a lot of honey. It really, really adds a lot to my cost. But, yeah, the hot dog buns and hamburger buns are $1.38 also. It used to be 99 cents. Sometimes you used to be able to get them for 79 cents. Chef Bayardi ravioli is cheaper here than at Dollar Tree though. At Dollar Tree it's a dollar and a quarter. Here you can get it for a dollar twelve. So some things you gotta watch out for. This is one thing that's got a big markup. Uh, you get less product, three dollars and ninety-eight cents for the Kellogg's. And you can buy the store brand, same thing for a dollar ninety-three. Uh, 377 for a bag of fruity pebbles or a box and the box is the same size as it used to be when I was a kid growing up but now it's a lot narrower or thinner so you get less product and its cereal is very expensive uh, when I do buy cereal I try to buy the the store brand it's Rice squares are 272 for the store brand. Uh, rice checks from General Mills are 493, and this is for one pound two ounces, and this is 12 ounces. So yeah, two eighty two for the shredded wheat, four ninety eight for the frosted mini wheats. And they're the same thing to me. Uh, Two sixty-seven for the almond honey crunch. Uh, the almond honey bunches of oats with almonds is four ninety-three. So yeah, two forty-eight for bran flakes. And I don't even see Wheaties here. Well, Wheaties are $4.98. The Vandy Camp's pork and beans are 98 cents a can. We used to get them for 48 cents a can. Jiffy mix, corn muffin mix is 60 cents. We used to get that for 29 cents. So yeah, inflation is real. The store brand all-purpose flour is 434 for uh, 10 pounds. Used to be like 350. Hey everybody, just noticed uh, here at United there's a lot of empty, empty uh, spaces here in the section there. Lettuce is 229 here. I noticed at Walmart it was only $1.88, so it's a little cheaper at Walmart. Tips. Uh, corn here is 79 cents at Walmart. It was 50 cents. Yeah, it's a little more expensive here. The asparagus at Walmart was only four or something. Five ninety-nine. Mm -hmm. I bought a gallon of oil at Walmart. It was only like nine dollars or something like that. It's fifteen bucks here. So 
they got a little better selection of cheese here than Walmart had. Walmart was getting low on some of their cheeses. So, uh, the Kraft Singles, that's about the same price here. They got a pretty good deal on their sliced cheese right now, two for five bucks. That's not a bad deal. Yeah, all these processed meats are very expensive. I mean, that's six dollars or five and a half bucks. But yeah, this Budig is 88 cents. You used to be able to get them for 59 cents. But. Yeah, any of the processed meat is. Ooh, that's that's a pretty good 99 deal. Cents. Ninety-nine cents for Frank's. Hell yeah. We might get some of them. Okay, the hams here for the Cook's hams are fifteen uh, thirty-three. A dollar dollar sixty-nine a pound. So their ham is actually a little cheaper here than what Walmart was. Uh, and Cook's hams are good ham. The bratwurst are actually a little cheaper here, I believe it, because the package I looked at only had five of them in it, and these had six. So, unless the one I looked at was an odd one, but <laughs> hamburger is cheaper here, three sixty-nine a pound if you buy the tube of it here uh, it's on probably only 70 70 30 I don't know no it's 80 20 80 20 so that's not real bad uh, wow that's expensive 13.99 for four patties the minute steaks here are a little bit more expensive Actually, the $9.99 a pound for uh, Choice Angus steak is a little cheaper than what what uh, Walmart was. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. But this one is at least a whole. Uh, a whole brisket, $66. This one's $52. Uh, $5.49. I think Walmart was like six something a pound. So the brisket is actually a little cheaper here, but there's a half. Yeah, see, I don't understand this. This little one is 40 bucks. If, oh, that's a sirloin roast, bottom sirloin. That's a sir tip. We used to get them for like 15 bucks out in California, the sir tip. It's crazy. Pork is pretty reasonable. Actually, these these ribs are pretty good price, two, $2.99 a pound. I think uh, Walmart was $3.69 a pound. So that's a good buy on the ribs. Uh, butt roast. That's a shoulder roast. That's a little heavy. <laughs> yeah. That is three forty-nine a pound. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit expensive. Uh, this is a boneless sirloin. This is a half of one. Three thirty-nine. Used to be able to get them for a dollar forty-nine a pound. And I, I always cut my own, own loin chops like this out of the sirloin. Uh, yeah, uh, used to be able to buy the whole sirloin for the price of this half sirloin. And so, yeah. That's for legs. That's a pretty good buy on chicken legs. Uh, 69 cents a pound. Yeah, that's a pretty good buy.
I was looking to see if they had wings. I would say poultry is probably the most reasonable thing to buy nowadays, except meat wings. wise. Except wings. Yeah, I'm going to get these drumsticks and I'm just going to freeze them. I'll put them into two in a bag and that'll last me a long time. Yeah, they don't have any fresh ones here like I did at Walmart, but they're $11.99 a bag. And seafood here, they don't have any, any fresh like Walmart did. But seafood is very expensive. $35. Their eggs are a little more expensive here. Walmart is only seven, seven something for a five dozen. So they're a little more expensive here. Okay, the milk is definitely a lot more expensive here. Uh, like the two percent, <laughs> four seventy nine. I just get three eighteen at Walmart for a gallon. So yeah. $5.69 for chocolate milk, so yeah, I won't buy milk here at uh, United ever. Uh, it might, Highland milk, it might be a little better flavor, but I can't tell the difference, so Walmart milk will be fine for what I need. Hey everybody, the Adventures of Oklahoma Gruntman merch is now available. Contact any of the forums below. Hey everybody, I just got a package from Walmart, uh, delivered at my door here. Uh, Tennessee Shy Lady, thank you very much. I definitely appreciate this. I got a six pack of, of crew neck t-shirts, uh, a bundle of vinyl. Uh, I think you might have meant to get me uh, t-shirt vinyl, but that's fine. I'll use this. Uh, I can just go up to Walmart and get some uh, t-shirt vinyl. It's about the same price, so I can go up and do that. Uh, I Hopefully, they'll have some of the teal, because I know you, you really like the teal color. But this is just regular vinyl. It's not iron-on vinyl. But thank you very much. Uh, I can definitely use that. I going to be making a, a sign for the back win, window of my car. So this is uh, an assorted colors in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's teal, yellow, red, blue, and green. So thank you again for that. And Dakota will have some treats. Uh, He'll love that. He's over here looking at me like, okay, I'm ready for some. So we'll, we'll probably give him a couple treats here in a second. And, but Tennessee Shy Lady, thank you again so much. I definitely appreciate this. Uh, we'll take Dakota outside there and, and get him a couple treats and get you some video of him with getting his treat. So God bless you. We'll talk to you later. I got a, got a treat here for Dakota. Shake, shake, yeah, a good boy. Yeah, he he enjoys these bacon flavored treats. Yeah, don't you? You like them, don't you? Shake, yeah, a good boy. There you go. You like that, huh? Shake, yeah, shake. More, more. You want more? One more, huh? One more. Shake, yeah. Sit, 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 sit. There you go. 
he likes his treats, Tennessee shy lady. Uh, I'll give him one more. Maybe a couple. He, he's, he's a pretty good dog. Big? Yeah, good boy. I think he likes his treats. Sit, sit. There you go. That's all. That's all you get for now. No. I know you want more. I know you want more. Hey everybody, we're over here at Tristan's house. Uh, we're gonna watch the Republican debate tonight and we're gonna grill some hot dogs and stuff on the, the grill and Tristan and I are just playing some solitaire right now, some King's, King's Corner, Corner. Uh, just to pass the time. It's very hot outside so we're uh, just sitting here passing the time of day. Uh, I want to thank Tennessee Shy Lady again for all the stuff you sent. Uh, Dakota really liked his treats. I hope you liked the videos. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get my video uploaded here and the debate stuff we might have on tomorrow's video. I don't know what I'm all going to even talk about yet. I'm not going to get into it too deep. So, But we'll get my video loaded up here shortly and hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll talk to you later. God bless. Hey, everybody. Look at this fly. Hi. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. We're getting pestered by a fly here. Uh, that we don't want to be. Yeah. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was something different. Uh, I want you guys really to comment on the prices in your area compared to what we have here in Oklahoma. And there was a few things that were limited in supply today. Uh, it wasn't as bad as it's been, so I don't know. Maybe Walmart listened to me because the other day I I asked somebody, I said, is there a shortage all of a sudden? And they go, why is that? And I said, because the shelves are empty. So today when I went in there, there was a lot of people stocking shelves, and they were fairly full. A few things were, were light, especially in the dairy products. And I don't know if the dairy is having an issue or what. But anyway, comment in the comments uh, your prices and anything that you guys have noticed in your area. Uh, I noticed today our gas prices did drop a little bit here in Woodward. Uh, they were 3 59. 59 instead of 69 yeah so that helps a little bit uh, but anyway I'm gonna get my video uploaded here and uh, <laughs> and also I am still doing the tribute to the United States Army uh, I will do that until next Tuesday and, rem and that reminds me next Tuesday is alive again and then I'll be doing the United States Marines. But this week is still the United States Army. So I, uh, I'm going to get my video uploaded here anyway. Like I always say, treat everybody the way you want to be treated. Make this world a better place. God bless you guys. I love you. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.